Hello students. Today we're going to talk about histograms. Go ahead and say that with me. Histograms. I like to think that histograms are the Instagram of the graphing world. So let's go ahead and check out exactly what it is and how to make one. The first thing is we have to gather our information. And I went ahead and chose to talk about clothing. And back in the olden days, when clothing was created by tailors, or maybe if you didn't have enough money, you would have to have your parents or your mom uh, create your own clothes. Um, and anyway, you would go see a tailor and they would have to measure you to create your clothes. And so here we have a dot plot representing the customers coming in to the shop asking for clothing and the tailor would then go ahead and create clothes just for that person. So looking at our dots, each dot represents a customer. And we can see sometimes uh, their heights repeat, right? Sometimes you're not the same height as other people. And so eventually through time, we would gather all of this information. And here we have it down on our dot plot, right? Um, so we can see the, the smallest person there is 48 inches. The tallest person is 70 inches. And this tailor here would have to create, you know, all of these clothing for each individual person. So for every dot, there would be some more clothing that they would have to create. And if you think about it, back in the day, this is what it would look like uh, when they were making clothes, right? So it was a long process. It took a lot of time you know, to make that individual person, right? Um, flash forward uh, into the modern world, we can see that now they're creating with machines, right? And so what they did was they took that same information, okay? So we're taking that same dot plot and they said, we don't have time to have our machine create each uh, clothing for each person. But what we can do to make it faster is we can split up our information into groups, right? And so that kind of created that, you know, this is for, this is a small. So your shirts that say small, right? You're probably somewhere in between 48 and 54, you know, maybe, right? Uh, then they had like the medium, the large and the extra large. And so they said, it doesn't really matter how um, tall you are, how short you are, we're going to put you into these groups. And that's really what we need to do with our histogram is we're taking this information and we're, we're simplifying it, right? So what they did is they, they went ahead and created a range of heights. So, you know, if you're, you're considered small if you were 48 to 54, right? You're a medium if you're 55 to 62 and so forth. Um, you know, I didn't look up these exactly, so you might say, well, I'm 48 and I wear, you know, something else, but, but anyway, we're just gonna, we're gonna go with, with this idea here for our Instagram, right? Uh, and then our other information that we need to know is the number of customers, okay? So those are the two main things, how hot, how tall they are, and then how many customers they are. So we're gonna go ahead and um, make this a little bigger so we can see it. Okay, so like we said, the first thing we need to do, we have our heights, we have our ranges for our heights, and now we need to know, well, how many are in each category? So if I was making these shirts, well, how many smalls do I need? How many mediums do I need? So I'd go and I'd count each dot. So looking at the smalls, we see one, two, three, four. There are five. Um, dots, right? So that's five different customers. With our mediums, there's 12 of them. If you want to pause and count them yourself, you can. Then our large, we have four, and our extra large is just one. So we're going to take this information and we're going to use it for our histogram, right? So with our histogram, we've created different ranges, okay? Uh, and now we have how many customers we have for each range, right? So if we were again making shirts. We say, well, how many shirts do I need? Well, I would need five shirts. So I would fill in from zero to five because it would be all the five. That's all I need for my smalls. Then we have our mediums. We would have 12 mediums and then four larges. 
and our one extra large. All right. So comparing these two, looking at the dot plot and the histogram, right? Um, it's taking all of that information and simplifying it. Um, you know, when you think about well, what are the point are for graphs? You know, why do we have graphs? Well, we use them to look at information um, as a visual but also just a quick generalization of what are we seeing, right? With our dot plot, we can see every single piece of information. We know exactly how tall they are. We know exactly how many people, um, you know, went into the store to buy their clothes that day. Uh, but with our histogram, we can still tell how many people if we counted all four sections up. Um, but again, it's that quick well, we don't know exactly how tall they are, but we know what size they are and what size they wear. Okay, so just kind of looking at the end, the general um, information of our histograms, you know, yes, it does look like a bar graph, um, but it's not. You'll notice that there are no spaces in between the bars. That's a big indicator that say, hey, this is a histogram. Okay. Um, also, we don't know exactly how tall they are. So if this, is, if this histogram is the only information they give us, we can only go off of, well, we know that there's 12 people between 55 and 62. We don't know exactly how tall they are. Um, so it does have some limitations on you know, the information given, but again, our points of graphs are to give us a quick visualization of our information, of our data. Um, and so anyway, that concludes our video for today. Um, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and message any of your teachers about this. And thank you.